What's up, OU? My name is Nate Riggs, and I'm going to be joining you guys on May 20th for the Shea Sales Symposium. Um, Caitlin asked me to kind of just give a few reasons why I think you should come, and I really do think it's a good idea. Um, I sat down and like started to try to write a list of these reasons and then kind of gave up on that. So I'm just going to talk to you and, and we're going to have a conversation. Number one, this is something you should do because it's going to be an immersive experience in terms of what it's like to go to an actual conference in the professional world. Uh, whether you're in marketing, sales, customer service, or any type of forward-facing uh, aspect of an organization, you will be going to events. You will be going to conferences and trade shows and meetings and symposiums and all kinds of different things where people are going to get together and discuss ideas and, and how they move forward with business in general. This is your first experience to do that, so that's one reason. In doing that, you're going to come and you're going to meet a lot of other professionals, and this is what's going to teach you how to start professionally networking. A lot of people try to define networking uh, as, you know, this is something you do when you try to get a job or when you're trying to find a client. The first rule of thumb that you need to learn as a professional is that networking is a lifestyle. It's not a, a task or something that's on the bottom of your to-do list. It's a way that you live. Um, if you haven't read the book, Keith Ferrazzi, Never Eat, Never Eat Alone, definitely pick that up from the library and start to dig in because it is a book that will change your life. When you're networking, when you're going to these events, you're going to walk in the door and immediately you're going to be a little bit uncomfortable. There's going to be a lot of older, older folks there you know, who are seasoned professionals. Some will be wearing suits. I might be wearing a suit. We'll see what happens. Um, at any rate, that feeling of uncomfort that you get that's good. You want to make yourself uncomfortable. You want to put yourself out of your comfort zone. Sit at a table. If you have the opportunity to pick what table that you sit at, sit at a table where you can find other people that look just as uncomfortable as you because professionals feel this way as well. That's usually a good uh, place to start a conversation. So go to the event to network. Go to get experience in terms of what it's like to go to a professional event. Um, go to hear the presentations. Uh, I'm going to be talking a lot about social media in terms of how you can use these tools for business development and selling. And the truth of the matter is, is that sales on the social web don't happen if you're trying to sell. If you're trying to sell on the social web, your all of your messages are going to fall on deaf ears. These tools are about building relationships and about building up a personal brand presence that you can use as leverage to open the door to any other opportunities that you want. One of the big, biggest challenges I had as a young business developer uh, not all that long ago was trying to at least get the door open, calling on admins, calling on you know professionals that I wanted to target as my prospects, and not being able to get the time of day from them, not being able to get you know a meeting or a phone call or even 30 seconds of their time. I've spent the last 10 years building my personal brand, blogging, using Facebook, well not for 10 years on Facebook, but LinkedIn, Twitter, learning how to speak, all of these things that kind of make up my brand platform and what that's provided me with is leverage. I can now open any door that I want to. I can get a meeting with just about anybody I want to with the proper time, the proper research on the information I need to know, and the proper ways of communicating. And that's what we're going to talk about is how all of these social media tools aid you in fostering the development of relationships and opening the door to new opportunities. And for any sales professional, that's going to be going to be a, a critical element in your success. It's going to be interesting watching the next presentation after that talk about how you present your capabilities. So first you have to get the door open, then you have to be able to pitch your what you're selling to sell your trade. Um, so you guys are going to have a lot of great content at this event. And finally, I think it's most important that you need to come to this event to support your fellow students and faculty who are putting it on. Um, this human business team has done some amazing things. I don't know if you can see in the background. I'll see if I can switch over here, uh, get back to the blog. But it's been pretty crazy stuff. These guys are, are executing. We talked a little bit about strategy. We talked a little bit about the tools. And we spent about six hours together. And Frankly, these guys are doing more than, than a lot of, of potential clients that I look at. So come and see what the human business team at Ohio University is doing because they're the ones doing this right now. They're using the tools and they're putting butts in seats by doing it. And I think that's going to be some pretty valuable information for you guys to have. So again, please come to the Shea Sales Center Symposium. I'd like to meet you while I'm there. Please come up, say hi. I'm just a regular dude. I'm not much older than you. Um, but hopefully I can, I can at least share some knowledge with you guys that you can use in your own careers. And I'm going to look forward to meeting each and every one of you. Thanks so much. I'm Nate Riggs.